obviously this is not constitutional, but more importantly, it goes against the will of the Lord of the church. He calls us to gather. Amen. So look at the person next to you and say, I don't know who you are, but I'm so glad I'm sitting next to you. When any government separates from God and his law in scripture and from his people and his church, it invites judgment on a personal scale and a national scale. It's unavoidable because God is immutable. He doesn't change. When government thinks its only responsibility is for physical, material, social, temporal needs and ignores the spiritual reality of the true God and people's spiritual needs, when a nation becomes indifferent to the true God and his word and his law, it makes a grave mistake which, if not reversed, will lead that nation to its own destruction. The notion of a secular state is a lie. Government is ordained by God. In Ryle's lifetime, he called his nation, England, to biblical law, biblical Christianity. And he said it should be recognized nationally and the scriptures should be promoted for the good of society. Now, the reformers were right in seeing three uses for the law of God. Use one was to show the sinner what holiness was like so the sinner could see how far short he falls be convicted and repent personally and receive the salvation that God offers through Christ. So the first use of the law is to awaken the sinner to his sin and judgment. The second use of the law is then to become the standard for believers' behavior as they walk in sanctification and holiness. But the third use of the law, said the reformers, and they were right, is to restrain sin in society. And God's law does restrain sin. And government is to be its enforcer. Romans 13, 1, every person is to be in subjection to the governing authorities, for there is no authority except from God, and those which exist are established by God. Rulers are not a cause for fear for good behavior, but for evil. For government is a minister of God to you for good, but if you do what is evil, be afraid if it doesn't bear the sword for, for it doesn't bear the sword for nothing. For government is a minister of God, an avenger who brings evil on the one who does evil. Wrath comes on the one who does evil, and the executor of that wrath in the government are those that carry the weapons and deadly force. So God's law, first of all, is designed to show sinners how far short we fall of God's holy standard and how desperately we need a Redeemer and a Savior. Secondly, to provide a standard of behavior for us to live sanctified lives. But thirdly, God gave law to restrain sin in a society. And as long as a society follows biblical law, there will be restraint on sin.